Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about topics to talk about with a guy. So one of the questions that I get all the time is, is what do I talk about with a guy? And so um, let's first talk about uh, what doesn't work uh, when talking with a guy. And, and um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, what we're going to talk about here is how to be more attractive in your conversations. And so, um, you know, some of these topics that we're going to talk about of what not to do, you can talk about them, but just don't expect a guy to be attracted to you for these topics. And the first one is guy topics, right? And a lot of women think that they need to learn guy topics in order to have a conversation with a guy. And, and the truth is, is that that can be a plus in a relationship or it can be, um, you know, something that's added to uh, what you're doing, but don't expect a guy to be attracted to you uh, when you talk to him about guy topics. Um, that it's they aren't attractive to guys. Uh, even even guys that are into the topics that you're learning about, like you know sports or whatever, um, that can be interesting and cool, but it's not necessarily attractive. So just remember that. Uh, the next one is talking like a guy. So making fun of a guy um, like his friends do. A lot of women see guys making fun of each other and then they think, oh, maybe I should start making fun of him too because that's what guys do together, right? And if you do it every once in a while, it can be a cute thing. But if you're doing it all the time, it is just not attractive in any way. Um, so don't don't rely on that as a, as a good tactic. And then the next one is relying on commonalities, right? And so commonalities can be a good friendship thing. You know, if you are trying to make friends with a guy, that's a great thing to do is talk about commonalities, find out things that he's interested in and talk to him about those things. That can be really, really powerful. Um, but if you're trying to attract a guy, don't expect him to be attracted to you because you have a bunch of commonalities. Expect him to be friends with you because of that. And so the the last thing to not do is have expectations around um, your conversations. So a lot of times women will uh, try to get a guy to respond to her in a certain way when she says something to him. And, and this is really unattractive. And, and a lot of times women will get upset and they'll be like, well, he didn't respond the way I want him to. And that is just incredibly unattractive and doesn't work for friendship or a romantic relationship. So what does work? Uh, the first one is telling stories. Telling stories is a really powerful thing to do, and we've been telling stories since way before recorded history, and, and um, it, it's uh, something that we just sit back and listen to stories, and people love stories. So if, uh, if you can get good at telling stories, that can be incredibly attractive to men. Uh, so tell stories about your values, you know, talk about uh, stories about other people, and uh, things that align with your values. Um, it can be a great way to screen guys. Um, another thing to talk stories, tell stories about is uh, things that, um, that, are, that you've done that are exciting. So tell stories about exciting things that you've done. And if you haven't done any exciting things, then go out and do some exciting things because exciting things are exciting and they make other people excited about you. So uh, that can be really powerful and, and attractive. And then uh, the last storytelling thing is to tell stories that convey your feminine side. So your nurturing, loving, caring side. That can be really a powerful when talking to a man about that. Um, and, and it can make him see you as potentially relationship material. And so uh, the next thing that you want to do is uh, talk about what he's passionate about. So find out what he's passionate about, and this doesn't necessarily have to be his job. Guys will talk forever about whatever they're passionate about. And so if you can figure out what he's passionate about, and you don't have to know anything about the topic, just get him to start talking about it and just ask him questions. Be curious about it and ask him, even if they're stupid questions. You know, most guys would love to talk about what they're passionate about. Um, and then the last thing to talk to guys about is talk about fun and exciting things that you're going to go and do in the future. So uh, this goes back to that whole thing about having an exciting life and, and uh, um, being interesting and doing interesting things. Um, a lot of women want to put off the whole uh, 
uh, doing interesting things until they have a guy to go and do those interesting things with. But I'll tell you right now that it's way more attractive to a guy when you already have interesting things that you're going out and doing and then you're talking about those things than, you know, sitting around going, well, I'd, I'd love to do some interesting things if I had a guy to do it. It's, it's so much more attractive and he'll be so much more attracted to you if he's like, oh, she's already doing all these awesome things that I want to go and do. I'd love to be a part of that. You know, that, that's way more powerful than being like, yeah, I haven't done anything interesting, but I'd love to do some someday, you know. Um, so that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, loving, secure relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.